Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chachwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word and truth and in sincerity, risking their lives and freedoms to do so. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you. Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. All right. And uh, first, I would like to start off by um, stating the Heavenly Father's true name is a Hebrew name, which is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, his true name, which is a Hebrew name, is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, I want to hop into something real quick. Going into the, um, the times that we're living in now, all right, how, like the scriptures say, there's nothing new under the sun, okay? Things that happened in the past are happening now, okay? Because those same spirits that were in the past are back here today. Um, this is, I'm going to start in Genesis 6 and 5. It says, and God... Excuse me. It says, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. All right. So this is going into the days of Noah. All right. Pretty much everybody uh, was um, living wickedly. All right. It says their thoughts of their heart, meaning their mind, their the thoughts in their mind were was only evil continually. People were just living wickedly. Like today. OK, verse five, uh, verse six. And it repented Yahweh that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. So th there's so much wickedness going on that Yahweh repented that he even made man. All right. He was like, shit, I should have never made these these uh, people, you know, uh, verse seven. And Yahweh said, I would destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented me that I had made them. All right, because this place was uh, the time of Noah was wicked. Heavenly Father uh destroyed it all right he flooded the whole world okay check this out though verse eight but noah found grace in the eyes of yahweh all right so yeah uh noah noah was a, a righteous man okay he he um was found as a matter of fact let me read it verse nine and these are the generations of noah Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. Okay, so Noah, all right, he was a just man, meaning he he was a upright, all right, righteous man. Okay, so he found grace in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. So what happened? He saved Noah, his three sons, and their wives so uh noah got delivered with his family all right and his son's wives his wife as well which would be eight souls all right and everybody else got destroyed you just gotta really let that marinate uh, the earth okay uh, who knows how many uh, people were living back then okay but the point is he only saved eight people and and killed everybody else destroyed everybody else with the judgment of the flood okay and yahweh willing hey we're like spiritual noahs lord willing he delivers us 
all right, and our families, okay, for trying to do what's right, for trying to be just, all right, because the men of the Lord, you know, Yahweh willing, I'm one of them, We're, we try to live righteously according to how the Heavenly Father set it up to be as, okay, and, you know, we hope, hey, we're like spiritual Noahs, getting delivered from the the judgment that's to come, which this time is going to be by fire. All right. So let's go to Matthews 24. Let me see. Let's see what 36 says. Twenty four and thirty six. He says, "But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only." Which proves that the heavenly Father is uh, the supreme, most high. Okay, and He only knows when that day is. Yahweh I don't know. The angels don't know. Okay, so God and Yahweh Shai, the, the, the father and the son are two different entities. All right. So it says 37, but as the day of Noah were, so also the coming of the son of man be. So now he's comparing the, re, the return of Yahweh Shai, the day of judgment is going to be like uh, the days of Noah. It says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be because the scriptures say what the day of the Lord is going to be like a thief in the night when you least expect it. OK, so for the ones who are living and eating and drinking and giving in marriage and partying and bullshitting, guess what? When that day comes, that day of judgment is going to it's going to uh, uh, come when they least expect it. How they say you get caught with your pants down. OK, a lot of people, uh, millions of billions of people are going to get caught with their pants down in, in that day. All right. But. He said it's going to be like the time of Noah. And what do we read in Genesis? That the, the the thought of the minds of the people, the heart, the thoughts of the heart of the people were evil continually. Look at what's going on today. This place is nothing. Not only this place, it's just across the whole world is wicked outside of the men of the Lord that's out here trying to do the right thing, attempting to be. Uh, uh, perfect. All right, we're attempting to to to. We're following after the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. We're doing the right thing to the best of our ability. Outside of that, hey, everybody else is wicked. Okay, we fuck up sometimes, but we acknowledge our faults. We ask for forgiveness, like the scriptures say, "A just man falleth seven times." All right, so. Yeah, we're we're not perfect. You know, we fuck up here and there, but um, we're striving to to follow to the best of our abilities. Uh, um, Yahweh Shai, OK, doing this work to the best of our ability. Everybody else outside of this truth is going to be destroyed. OK. And it's going to come when they least expect it, just like in the days of Noah. All right. And then I'm going to grab one more. This is Luke 17. And let's see. OK, he's going to he's going to say it again. So we're going to read it again. Uh, 17 and 28. I mean, 26. And as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. They did eat. They drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. 28. Likewise, also as it was in the day of Lot, the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they brought, they sold, they planted, they build. But the same day that Lot went out of the 
out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So what happened in the days of Lot? What was going on? All right. The, the sodomy was going on. All right. Um, let's say, um, you know, because you can't really say certain things on uh, the tube because they'll, they'll cancel you. All right. They had those lifestyles um alphabet lifestyles okay they had uh, uh men with men women with women um uh, man and animal women and animal they were doing all types of filthy acts of wickedness sexual acts of wickedness all right because the scriptures say uh, uh he set up man and female he didn't set up man for man or woman for woman and, and what's going on today all right, especially here in Babylon, okay, aka uh, uh, America, which is also known as in Revelations the eleventh chapter. This is places spiritual Egypt and spiritual Sodom. It's spiritual Sodom. Why? Because the same things that was going on in Sodom are going down over here. You got the uh, the rainbow flag. All right. You got those lifestyle peoples, the ABC group. The and, and what happened? The Lord destroyed that place. That that city, Sodom, Gomorrah, and the surrounding cities. Why? Because they were uh, committing abomination. All right, and hey, look, it's even worse now because now a, a, a man can go get his plumbing changed, and you will never know. All right. Female growing beards all right, and, and got more muscles than most of these men now. And what happened? The Lord destroyed it. So likewise, he's going to do that to this place because they're the same thing that was going on then is going on here. The same thing that was going on in the times of Noah, same thing that was going on in the time of Lot, the days of Lot, they're happening right now. That's why the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes, there is nothing new under the sun. Okay. So, hey, if the Lord only saved eight souls in the day of Noah and destroyed the whole earth, if if the heavenly father only delivered Lot and his two daughter, daughters and destroyed all those cities, what do you think is going to happen this time? It's going to be a mass uh, judgment for the wickedness that's going on in this place. And and once this uh, earth gets judged, mainly here in Babylon, all right, what's going to happen? The righteous are going to rule. That's not going to fly anymore because the law, statutes and commandments are going to be established. All right. And that's what we're that's what we're looking for. All right. We're never going to be able to sin again, which means we're going to live forever because those says the scriptures say the wages of sin is death. All right. Yeah, how willingness was edifying to next time. Shalom.